Hey, what's going on, people? Your boy, man, Mike, coming at you guys with yet another Atlanta Hawks video. If you're new to the channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Tell your friends to come chat Atlanta Hawks basketball with your boy. But this is your boy, man, Mike, from Mad Mike Sports. This is Mad Mike Sports Plus, where you get everything that you want. All right, so if you guys have a question for me, um, just leave the question below any one of these videos, and I will make a video on your all right, your question. So this is um, the Atlanta Hawks and a contract extension for John Collins. Um, these guys did not come to an agreement. So going at the end of this season, um, he will become a restricted free agency. So whatever a team offer John Collins, the Atlanta Hawks will have an opportunity just as Sacramento had with um, Bogdan. Uh, Bogdanovich, who signed with the Atlanta Hawks, um, they had an option to match whatever he was offered. So I think this is a good way for the Atlanta Hawks to at least, you know, just try to figure out what the market is for him. I know that he wants to become one of the highest paid um, forwards in the game. Um, I know over 160 million, he wants that. I'm not certain if the Atlanta Hawks would do that. I don't think there's a need to do that. Um, like he's he's a very good player. He's one of the most um, athletically gifted players that the you know the league has. Um, he can shoot from the outside. He's incredibly athletic. So you know he's he's a good rebounder. He can um, I know he can block shots. He's not that great defensively. He still has ways to go. Um, but when it comes down to it, he and Trey Young definitely have that chemistry. So he has the potential to be one of the best power forwards in the game. But I'm not sure if the Atlanta Hawks at this point in time that they would are willing to give him over a hundred and fifty million dollars. And that's where the issue lies, not only for me, but the Atlanta Hawks. Um, has he reached his ceiling? We don't have any clue. We really don't know. This is the opportunity for him this season. This season um, will start. Uh, it started tonight. Um, um, Steph Curry and the Golden State Warriors did not necessarily look well. Um, New Jersey, uh, Brooklyn, excuse me, Brooklyn Nets, those guys, KD, KD came out looking well. He and Kyrie, those guys are looking good. But, man, um, I just don't think at this point in time, uh, the Hawks should spend too much money on guys, especially when you've yet to give Trey Young a massive contract extension. And that's the issue with me, okay? That's the issue with me. Um, I don't think he should be able, I don't think they should give John Collins a massive contract extension before they've already come down um, with that contract with Trey Young. I, I know for a fact that, you know, Trey is going to become one of the most highest paid um, players in the league. He's young. Um, this is his third year, going his third year. Uh, he, he's a, a tremendous player, but I just don't know if John Collins at this point in time, um, like I said, he would have to make an all-star appearance before I, I, I believe that you pay him anything over $150 million. So I want to know what you guys think, man. Should the Atlanta Hawks sign? Um, do you think the Hawks did the right thing and waiting um, until this, the end of the season, where he will become a restricted free agent? So any deal that any team offer John Collins, they offer him 150 million. The Hawks will have an opportunity to match it. So let me know what you guys think about that. Did they do the right thing? Um, leave your comments below. Do not forget to hit that subscribe button. Your boy, man, Mike is out, man. Peace.